Hi guys, it's Winifred and I hope I am not up too close for you. Um, I just really wanted to kind of pop on today and say hi and to show you a quick Valentine's Day look. You see I don't have anything on my eyes. I did a really, really neutral eye and um, yeah, because I don't know if I'm going to go out and still relatively light outside so I didn't want to do this really kind of crazy eye and you know have to take it all off and whatnot so I just did a neutral eye using some of my um, MAC products Stereo Rose and Comfort that's it and a little bit of um, brown in the uh, crease area just to give me a little definition but that's pretty much it so I have on a red that's not particularly my favorite red but it's um, from NYX it's one of these glossy kind of um, gloss kind of like a dry gloss I would think and I will put the color down on the bottom for you it says Monte Carlo and yeah so that's what I have on my lips and I also want to show you all my nail polish too this is called uh, Theon's number five guys and when I say that this is literally the oldest nail polish that I own or literally it is because I have been wearing this since the 80s I mean I've had obviously many bottles but I have been wearing this color since the 80s and you used to be able to find it at um, beauty supply stores but I haven't been able to find it there as of late so what I did was I googled it and it came up and I ordered a few and guys I ordered it for under two dollars so I am going to hunt that website up and see if I can include it um, in the drop box, the description box for you. But yeah, this is Theon's number five, and I'm loving this. And in order to get it this vibrant red, guys, you've got to put a top coat on. I remember as a kid when I first got it, and I didn't know that you had to put the top coat on, so I polished my nails, and I looked at it, I'm like, well, oh, damn. <laughs> it doesn't look like the other um, girls that I saw, but then someone hipped me to the fact that I needed to put the clear top coat on in order to get that vibrant red so yeah um and so yeah this lipstick that I have on guys like I said it's a gloss Monte Carlo by NYX but what I wanted to do was actually put um a pink on top of it and this is from Lancome and it's that um oh, it's that in love collection and it's a very vibrant pink which kind of reminds me of candy yum yum a little bit but candy yum yum I think is a lot more vibrant than this one so yeah and let me see I'm just turning to the side here because I have a mirror over here I want to see what it looks like on top because I think guys this lippy It's good to transform colors. And yeah, I was right. Turns it into a nice hot pink. And that to me is wearable. I could wear this, but I don't think that I could wear this pink on its own. We'll see later on this week, but I don't think that this pink I could wear on its own. And um, let me see if I can read the color. Mm. it's rouge in love that's the that's the collection but it just has like numbers 361 M so yeah I don't know what that's all about but yeah this is from Lancome and actually they had a whole range of colors then I also want to show you all you all know I normally only wear one statement ring but today I have on two kind of I call them my zigzaggy rings and I love them I could wear them one or the other but I put on two today because I kind of wanted to um, 
pair it with my zigzaggy cuff. I'm trying to use some of or wear some of my um, other jewelry other than just my my bangles which you all see me in on a daily basis so I just want to switch it up a little bit and yeah this is the cuff and then I've got on a couple of my are they, oh God, I don't know if these are smoke them sterling silver or Lisa Talbot's so I have to look it up and I'll also link that too but yeah I just love these together I think it makes a nice statement hand and um this week guys I am going to try to take you downstairs in my workout room because in guys it doesn't look like a health club or anything like that but um it has enough in there for my brother and I to work out in and I love it and we're actually going to extend it out into our laundry room but I want to show you what it looks like for now. I have not yet put up my inspiration wall which is behind the cage but you know when I show you that get it together I think I'm going to take you all down there this week and show you what it looks like. Um, and also, I want to do a favorites of my fitness gear, um, some of the fitness items that I've been using this week. So I want, well not this week, but this past month. So I want to share that with you all. I got gloves, mat, all these things that I want to share with you all. So I think that I will be doing that this week. Well, I don't think. I know I'm going to be doing that this week. And then I'm really excited about the fact that I'm going to really jump into my kitchen and clear out my pantry and just make it really more functional. I was watching at home with Nikki this morning and she did a wonderful kitchen organization video so um, now she's got me all hyped up so now I got to get in the kitchen and do that and then also it just it, it just makes it a little bit more organized in my head when I go grocery shopping of the items that I want to get because I told you all I stopped buying a whole bunch of stuff like I used to because one it was wasteful and I was throwing out a lot of items and then two um, I was also buying things that, you know, that just weren't the healthiest. So, um, I, in the process of that, I've cut my grocery bill like in half. So, yeah. So, I, I don't think I'm going to show you the kitchen organization this week, but I will get, that's coming up soon. That's coming up soon because that's something that I really want to jump on. And yeah, so that's pretty much about it. And I've got one more week, guys, before Valentine's. So I'm going to really try to do a quick faces of the day um, this week. And make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting lip looks. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to um, thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe share and please comment. I love you all's comments. You know that. So yeah, have a good day.